Well, this is another lesson that we're going to head out with. Um, it's going to be kind of fun. It's going to be kind of interesting. It's made a little challenge for me because um, I got a letter, well, actually a response on one of my YouTubes. Um, somebody asked me if I could uh, make a lesson out of learning how to play the river lullaby out of the uh, Prince of Egypt movie. Uh, so I started thinking about it, and I thought, well, that might be a nice uh, foundation for a less to build a lesson out of. So I'm going to challenge myself on this one because I hadn't actually heard the song before. And so what I'm going to do is, for the first thing we're going to do, is going to go to YouTube and pick out the song. I found that uh, this is one that Amy Grant sang. And it's, well, it's going to be interesting because the song is written in a, in a key that Amy could sing with her voice easily. And so we're going to have to find out what key that's in, and then we're going to have to transpose that into a key that the harp can play. Another interesting thing about that is going to be that there are, are some um, sharps in that. Uh, so we're not going to be able to play those sharps, so we're going to have to learn how to play around that and still have a song that sounds like the River Lullaby. Um, a slight arrangement of it that we're going to do. So it's going to be kind of fun. Hang in there with me. Um, I might even make a few mistakes myself, but we're going to have some fun while we're doing it, and uh, hopefully you're going to learn a little bit about how to take something we hear from the radio or from a, a CD or whatever that we like and bring it into a song that we can play on the harp. So let's go over to the... Uh, to my, I've got my computer set up. We're going to just play it. And I've got it by a piano. If you have a piano or a keyboard, that kind of helps sometimes to be able to pick out what key we're in. So I'm going to show you how we do that. And uh, so let's go over to the, to the piano and my computer. We'll play the song. We'll pick it out on the piano. And then we'll transpose it across to the harp. So uh, let's go do that. So here we are. Um, I've got the computer set up. So let's listen to the song first. Just take a listen. Get started here.
By the way, I found this on uh, YouTube. Uh, if you just type in River Lullaby, there's several that come up, and I just picked out one of them. Um, so let's go back to the beginning. And the first thing we want to do is we want to find out what notes, what note do they start on. So let's let's play just a couple of measures just to get ourselves anchored here. Okay, hush. So. Okay, there's where they start. That's a, a G sharp or A flat. I'm sorry, B flat. No, oh, let me get it right again. Yes, A flat or G sharp. So it goes hush. Okay, so it's got a lot of flats in there, and that's going to be very difficult to do on the harp. So, um, so let's get that. But anyway, let's get the notes down there. Let's just hit, take the next phrase. And then it kind of goes, into, so those are the two, uh, ver um, the main verse part. Now we'll go into the chorus part. Let's 
get back to the harp and uh, see what we can do. Okay. Okay, so here we are at the harp again. <clears throat> and remember, we decided to uh, that we would drop down to the G to start the melody. So let's try it out. Here's the G string on the harp. Okay, so there's the simple melody. So let's, now that we have the, the G, um, let's play that melody once again. And I've got the computer here, so let's let's take it um, back and let's start that so we can get that melody fixed in our head. Okay. Now, here's another thing. If you don't get it exactly right, it's okay because a lot of times, remember I mentioned while we were listening to the instrumental part on the on the YouTube that they took a little bit different route with the melody. And you're free to do that. Remember, you're getting the basic elements down and then you're putting your interpretation into it. And at the end, it's going to sound really good. So, so if you miss a note, and sometimes they're going to play a sharp, and they do do that in this song that several times, you're not going to be able to play it. You're not going to be able to flip up a sharp real quick and play it. So you're going to have to hit one of the harmonizing notes or something that is going to be part of your arrangement for that song. So let's get that, that basic uh, first line in. Or there's another. That's another way you could go with it. Um, so you can just play around with it a little bit. Remember that you're you're interpreting. So don't get too hung up on whether you have it exactly right. Okay. So let's listen to the next phrase. Okay. So. Okay, so the first one is... Okay, that, that works. It's not a, there's a couple notes in there that might be slightly different, but it's working, okay? So that sounds kind of cool. So let's go to the next one. Okay, so...
I, I hope you're picking up the melody with me a little bit. Now remember, every time I go to play the melody, I'm a half step lower. So that, you know, you kind of have to get your ear used to hearing the music being played a, a half step higher and then coming over here to the harp and playing a half step lower. But let's see if we can put that all together now. Let's see. We're playing the E. 
So it's a G chord. Can't play that. So, oh, hell, let's try the C here. That has E in it. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. And then back to the G. Try that again. Um, G. C chord. G. Back to E. F chord. That's the C key. Let's do it again. G. F. So the second phrase that comes right after it starts with the G again, goes up to the F again. Oh, well, now we don't do the C. We'll go back right to the G again. So let's do put those two together now. First phrase. So that takes care of that first. So now we have the second chorus part that goes up to the higher note. Well, let's see, we've got to figure these chords out now. So, we'll stick with, let's try the G chord. Uh, F chord. C. G. And then G. F. Back to G. Okay. So let's try that again. This is the chorus part again. So we're going to that higher note. And so we'll play the G chord. F. C. G. G. F. G. Okay, so that takes care of the... Um, of the chorus part, so we essentially work out two different sections of the of the song. Now let's put those all those together and put the song. Let's play the whole song at once. So let's see.
So are you starting to get it? Now notice I uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So a three-four timing works with it, and that's a lullaby. That's it. We're, this is called the river lullaby, and the lullabies many times are on the three-four timing. So the next thing you once we figure these chords out. So we have the C. The, I'm sorry, the G chord, the F chord, and the C chord. pretty simple song, only three chords. Um, we do have a couple of sharps that we're having to play around, but I think the music that, the, the tune that we've worked out here is very acceptable, uh, very compatible with what we've just heard Amy Grant singing there on the, on the uh, YouTube. So um, let's put this all together one more time. We're starting on the G and we're... Okay, well, I think that um, we've kind of nailed it. I think it sounds pretty nice. Um, I think if I was to sit outside on the street and play this with people walking by, if they watched the movie Prince of Egypt, they probably would recognize, oh, that song's from the Prince of Egypt. It's not exactly the same as what we heard, but it's a very presentable uh, version of it, it's your interpretation of it, and what you're going to play is probably going to sound a little bit different than what I play. So, with that, I think we'll call that a lesson, and um, if any of you want some other, have some other challenges, um, please write in and let me know. Um, we're having some fun with this. We're starting to get to the point where we can hear something and we can figure it out and play it. So let's just do one more time through.
around with it. Have some fun. We'll see you next time.